Welcome to Cohesive Friendship Unit. I'm Chris. I am with Brian. What's going on? And Jake. Hey, guys. Sean Murray dropped us a little surprise just in time for Halloween. Uh, no Man's Sky 1.7 update, The Abyss. We got a fresh trailer for it, and we're going to be talking about it. But real quick, uh, if you like this video, please throw us a like. Let us know what you think about The Abyss and how Next is working out for you down in the comments below. And if you love us, sub us. That sub enters you for a chance to win some dank Steam codes. Okay, guys. So The Abyss, what do we think? It's uh, it's sea-focused, sea critters, I sea think biomes. I, I gotta start playing No Man's Sky a little bit. Yeah? Because this, it looks really good. Like, just okay. another layer of depth to the to the game. Like the the water, I knew there were like creatures and stuff, but it wasn't really ever that interesting to me because like you get in the water and it's just kind of barren. It's harder to navigate too. Yeah, so we did this right. quick conversation about like the underwater biomes, and I think me and Brian both thought that they were kind of lacking. Like it was pretty much always like there's some seaweed and maybe like a pearl thing, and that's about yeah, about it. it. Yeah, it sounds like they've added more. They well, added, it looks they, like they've added a yeah, shit ton more. It looks more. like they added a lot. So, I also like uh, the underwater buildings. That was we all tried that pretty much as soon as we got next, and it didn't work. Yeah, and we were pretty. I'm pretty happy to see that they have like working underwater stuff now. Well, and it looks really nice. That's that's what impressed me the most about it. Is like it, it just looks really nice. When you're in the building and you're you're like looking outside into the water and there's all this stuff swimming around and you can kind of see the the waves and all that shit. I, I, I maybe it's eye candy, but it does free, look really good. Uh, hey, who cares? When you consider <laughs> that like thirteen people actively work on this game, it looks yeah, that's really good. Really yeah, impressive. It's impressive. On a on a proprietary engine too. It's not even like it's all of the tools they made themselves i they like the diving smart. helmet too <laughs> yeah no, it's tight like it's it, it looks really i it goes with the aesthetic it it works with the suit the way they designed it this whole thing reminds me a lot of uh, subnautica i don't know if i'm guessing that's where they kind of got the inspiration yeah i mean they called it what the nautil the nautilus or yeah. nautilopolis or something yeah <laughs> Which I think is very close to a Subnautica uh, submarine, so it did look a lot like Subnautica. Yeah. Uh, um, well, it does not look like an accurate submarine combat simulator. If, <laughs> if you look for that, you want to probably go with Cold Waters, which is another <laughs> game that I, I want to get back into, but I digress. I mean, I... Uh... I'm trying to think. So I we we've all put a lot of hours into No Man's Sky, and I finished the the story. Uh, I think I probably bumped into like four, basically all water planets, and it's nice to know that now if I like hit one of those, I don't have to just leave. I can chill. Right. Like, yeah. There's some. There's a reason to stay, uh, and it looks like a big reason. I also had issues where I would land on uh, at least twice. I would land on one of those. And I would run out of thruster stuff, and I it, I would just be <laughs> stuck on like a super do. yeah like a super small island. It looks like this will be like a just beyond all of the cool stuff, like a little quality of life fix. Where like okay, now you can go underwater, get get the resources you need to get out if you want to just go in and get out. Yeah, I it looks I like that they're kind of taking. They're at least updating the biomes and making the world more diverse. I mean, if you ever spend some time on the No Man's Sky subreddit, all it is is people saying, Sean, please do this in the game. Please make volcanoes. Please make underwater stuff. Please make X, Y, and Z. So it's nice that they're they're kind of focusing on that. So Volcanoes, underwater volcanoes. I was just volcanoes. thinking volcanoes would be sick. Dude, it, it, I mean, underwater so volcanoes, stuff. like like thermal vents and shit like yeah. that. Right. That would yeah, be, it might be in here. Well, and it, they probably have the capability to do something that would be reasonable on that. To make the planets have, like, kind of a core yeah. that could come out. Like, so, like, if you mine too hard, the lava would start coming out. 
Ooh, that'd be tight. And yeah, like Minecraft. Yeah, but it's not like <laughs> Minecraft because it's, it's not stupid. Ooh. You're you're exploring Ooh. space. I do hope that this patch uh, addresses a little bit of the the multiplayer issues because I actually had a decent time like running through like the daily missions with Jake or Brian or whoever yeah. when we could, but when they would break, it would just suck. Well, and uh, they had three people, or they had at least three people in the trailer. Yeah, like, and no, I think I think the actual multiplayer works fine, but when you're like running a mission, and then like somebody can't cash it in or somebody doesn't get the objective complete. I just hope like they polished out some of the the issues with that with right. this. I think in our last video we kind of talked about how there was a lot of issues with like shared bases and the missions never worked and that like it you could all be in the same game, but there was always some issue with it that kind of held it back and then eventually we lost interest in haven't played got addicted for a while. to Rocket League. Got into yeah, we, we got heavily addicted to Rocket League. But, like, I think a lot of those were fixed actually shortly after we made that video. They had a patch that came out that, that improved a lot of the sharing stuff, so, like, you could use other people's equipment in their storage containers and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I definitely hope so. I'd yeah. I think I'll get back into... No Man's Sky a bit once the once this update comes out. Yeah, I was gonna ask you guys like want to does this make are you are you guys planning on like going back into it? Because I'll definitely yeah. go check it out. Yeah, hell yeah. There's enough in there that I haven't done that I'd still I was thinking about getting back into it anyways, but with this like it looks good. I want to check it out. One thing that I I hope they did put in the land or at least extend to the land creatures was predatory. Like, stuff that'll actually, like, attack you and hunt you, like sharks. It looks and like that's in here. Well, but did it? Did they extend it to just, like, the land? So, like, oh, if you yeah. landed on a planet, could it, could it be a planet that was dangerous in the sense that there were a whole ton of creatures that were going to just come and attack you? Because that's yeah. what they do. They're right. predatory. I do think that would be a nice addition. I agree with that. Instead of just sentinels, right, and then you would it would give the combat more of a like you're not just shooting sentinels, you're actually like fighting something that's trying to kill you. Yeah. So what? So one point seven, they focused on basic uh, strongly underwater focus. What what would you guys want for like a one point eight? Like what what is kind of still missing? Uh, for you guys, or if, if there is anything. Um, I want to see ship building. Like, I want to I want to see, cool. like, a system where you can put the ships together. Kind of, And I think I've said this before, not really to the extent that, like, Kerbal Space Program does, because you spend hours just putting together your, your rockets and that, but, like, have a bin of parts that you can go and buy such and such and put them into a, a configuration and that's that's your mm -hmm. ship i was thinking i would want um multi multi-man vehicles like th oh, this yeah, this sub is cool, cool but like a multi multi sub or a multi ship where like there's a turret man now just make it easier to travel together and this this next one's kind of a big ask but it seems like every update they've had at least a little bit of story content i think it would be great if they could integrate like uh, a six hour, maybe eight hour multiplayer or co-op campaign, like a campaign that you can only do missions with, with another player. Uh, so it's, it's more than just those like little fetch missions. Like there's some kind of dedicated little thing, not crazy, not like what the main story is, but well, that, that makes a lot of sense. I think if they're trying to push the multiplayer aspect of it. Yeah. I think that's for me, that would be awesome. Cause I would love to like run through a little thing with you guys. I agree. I think that's the only thing I would look for is more story and in my opinion better story uh, but that's that's just me yeah I was okay with it yeah I, I so I see No Man's Sky as being very close to like a MMO kind of thing um, I realize right. it's not an MMO but I see it as having the same setup of grinding and fetch quests and 
I like to see a little more of those like small um, story quest lines that MMOs have. You know, you can like pick up a quest and do it's like a, a small self-contained story with a handful of quests in there and that kind of thing. I think right. that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, it would give you more of a reason to play it. Right, because it gets pretty boring to do like the exact same fetch quest over and over again. I like the the multi seat vehicles too. Like you're driving around in your your vehicle, shooting at the predatory creatures that are running after you. you yeah, know? that would pair really well with the predatory creatures. You gotta go get the you gotta go get a treasure or, or like, something, and you're just gonna roll up and blast on all the predatory creatures. Like the space combat would be so much more fun if somebody was like manning turret and yeah, you could have a well, and if the AI had turrets as well. Yeah. Was, I think we all complained that like once the sentinels start attacking you, there's like nothing to do but either hide or that's it. Like there's no end. Or end just shoot them until you're dead. So, yeah. Like I, that's probably if I could, I would go back and change my one asks to be fix the sentinels if they haven't already. Cool. Okay. Awesome. Well, uh. I think, I mean, I, I think there's a pretty decent chance we'll be doing a, like a follow-up video after we've played it, assuming it all goes well. Hell yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. All right, then I think I think we're all set. What do you think, Brian? Well, if you're less concerned about them fixing the Sentinels and more concerned about telling all these 16-year-old trick-or-treaters to go the fuck home, you're too fucking old, okay? I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, anyway, you can uh, you can hammer your thoughts on that down in the, the word box there. And uh, like Chris said at the beginning of this video, um, if you sub to this channel, we'll be automatically entered into a dank chance to win some dank Steam codes. So uh, go ahead and click that sub button as well as the little ringy dingy in the top right hand corner of your screen there so that you get continuously updated with all the continuously cohesive, cohesive friendship unit shit that we're doing here on the cohesive friendship unit channel. Which is cohesively, co continuously cohesive, yeah. And uh, smoke them if you got them, guys. That's all for me tonight, Chris. Thank you, Brian. We will catch you guys next time.